Good afternoon. This message is directed to the people of New York City. My name is Frank Panasuk. Many of you know me as the president of the 1791 Society. This address is not paid for by the 1791 Society or any politician or organization. I am also retired from the town of Hamburg Police Department, having spent years as a detective investigating everything from bicycle thefts to homicides. My experience has given me an understanding of crime, its causes, and its solutions. I have witnessed many tragedies throughout my life, and I am asking that every resident of New York City listen to my warning. One of the greatest social tragedies we have witnessed in recent years is the plunge of New York City from being the crown jewel of the Empire State into the deep abyss of nonstop violence and crime. With each passing day, the real Gotham City is turning into Gotham City. In the real Gotham City, however, there is no superhero who will save New York's population from endless robberies, shootings, and rapes. We, the citizens of New York, will have to save ourselves by voting. I spent my entire professional career working in the police department in the same town government where Kathy Hochul's political career began. I know Kathy Hochul. I know her personally, I know her professionally, and I know her behavior politically. Kathy Hochul is a political opportunist who does not care about the safety of you, your family, or your friends. She will say or do anything to get elected governor. Her abysmal track record began with doing the bidding for corrupt politicians here in Western New York. Her tenure even included working in democratic politics under the criminal democratic chair, G. Stephen Pigeon. When she was elected county clerk, she left over a million dollars in uncashed, stale dated checks on her watch for her successor to deal with. Her incompetence now extends to promoting harmful policy choices that are fueling violent crime in New York City. The possibility that this accidental governor, whom word indicates that Andrew Cuomo was planning to remove from the ticket had he run for re-election, could be elected to a full four-year term as governor presents a clear and present danger to the citizens of New York. Kathy Hochul is nothing but an opportunistic political hack job who will do or say anything to get elected. She masqueraded as a gun rights candidate for Erie County Clerk before attempting to strip New Yorkers of their constitutional rights when she felt it was politically convenient to do so as governor. She has continued the Andrew Cuomo policies that keep violent criminals on the streets allowing them to reoffend again and again. Don't just take my word for it. Look at the evidence all around you. Even Al Sharpton has complained that drugstores have to lock up toothpaste to prevent it from being shoplifted. People are routinely being assassinated throughout New York City with no end in sight to the massacres. Kathy Hochul's response to this crisis is to attack the rights of innocent gun owners and let the violent monsters who delight in harming people run free on appearance tickets. Police departments statewide, including the revered New York City Police Department, are utterly overwhelmed. Morale among law enforcement professionals has never been lower. The only way to deal with violent crime is to physically remove violent criminal offenders from society and put them in a cage where they belong. New York needs to change course immediately, and it can do so by starting at the top. Please vote for Lee Zeldin on Election Day this November, regardless of your political affiliation. Kathy Hochul does not care about locking up violent offenders and restoring safety to the streets and subways of New York City. The evidence is piled up in the form of victims' bodies from one end of New York City to the other. Lee Zeldin is a good man who will improve law enforcement morale and give law enforcement and courts the desperately needed resources to make New York safe again 
for all people of all racial, ethnic, and economic backgrounds. Thank you.